Producers, Loop Cloud just got an update to 7.2, and here are five insane new features. The key lock system now includes major and minor. You can filter your sounds by release date. You can now preview and install Serum presets right from the Loop Cloud application. There's now a feedback button built into the app for bug reporting and general comments. And the library got a complete overhaul. And a bonus, you can now have the full editor at startup if you want it. Yeah, this is a huge update. Let's go ahead and jump in and check out these new features. All right, the first big feature I want to point out here is the upgrade to the key lock feature. All we need to do when we have a new track is lock the key and then choose from our available keys here. So I'm going to do A and now we have the ability to transpose any audio into major or minor. Before we just had these options, now it's much more precise and really opens up the options of what we have available inside of this incredible loop cloud database. So for example, I'm just gonna type in lead here and with the key lock feature on A minor, that's what our base is. Let's just cycle through these and see if we can't find one that fits. And it's that simple. We just have a more powerful key locking feature. And of course, if we wanted to, we could come into the bass and also lock that. And then we can switch from A minor to A major, which will do that for not only the bass, but any channel that has a key lock feature on. And so including our lead here. So that's A major. and that's A minor. Absolutely opens up the doors and possibilities when pitch shifting right inside of the Loop Cloud app. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about filtering by release date. This is so key. For example, I always want the newest vocals in my project. So if I come in here on the search page and just click vocal, I'll get my search result. But now inside of the audio filters properties, we now have release date sliders over here. If you don't see that, you can just click over here on the top right and it will open up this flyout window. Now, if I click and drag over, we can see the date below. This is saying everything between May 2023 and today I will now see, so I will only see the newest vocals. And that's gonna work with any type of search you're doing inside of Loot Club. This is so key. I've been asking for this for a long time. Super pumped. It's now available in 7.2. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about Serum presets. You can now preview, buy, and install preset by preset inside of the Loop Cloud app. Other synths will be coming shortly, but let's just check out Serum for now. I'm gonna type in Serum preset, perfect, hit enter, and now I'll get all of the different presets available. There are a ton, they're all super high quality. If I click on this one, for example, and hit play, Let's say I like that one. All I need to do is buy it. And then once you buy it, you'll need to right click and hit install or with it selected, hit control I and it will install it into your preset folder for Serum. Just to make sure before we jump over to Serum, if you come into preferences, you can choose the install directory right here. You can see I've got mine. You can change it right there. Just click right here and then find your preset folder and you'll see right here that that's where my presets are. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and open up Serum. Here we are inside of Serum inside of Ableton Live. If I come over here, you'll see that all of my presets from Loop Cloud have been loaded. If they don't show up, let's say you already have Serum open and you're doing everything in tandem, you can simply come over to menu and hit rescan folders on disk and they will show up inside of your list at that point. Absolutely phenomenal. I can't wait for the rest of the synth presets to be available like these are right now. The next feature is the send feedback button down here in the lower right hand corner. If you click that, it will open up your browser. After entering your email address, you'll be able to submit a bug report, a feature request, or general thoughts and feedback. You choose one of those and then you type what you want to say right there in the box and you can even add some files if it's a bug report. It's just a great way to get in touch directly with the Loop Cloud team. All right, let's talk about the library overhaul. That's going to be on the library tab. If you come in here, you'll see that we've got our packs on the left and any results on the right. So if I select abstract future hip hop and then come up in here and type in drum, 
it will show me all of the drums inside of that folder. So I can easily just load one up. Now, if I select a different folder, I will keep all of my search parameters up here on the top and just see those inside of that folder. So example, drums inside of this Afro Soul pack. If I wanna select multiple packs, I can hold control and just select this way. And now I'll get the drums from all of those packs. We can also select one and then hold shift and it will select everything between the two and we'll see all of the search results that way. It's just a boost in workflow, which is all Loop Cloud's been about from the start. And this is a huge improvement right here. And finally, here's your bonus tip. If you wanna see the full editor, including the multi-tracks down here at the bottom, every time you launch Loop Cloud, that's now possible inside of File, Preferences, always show full editor, just enable it, close out. And now every time you launch Loop Cloud, you'll see all of your tracks and all of your editor options from the jump. All right, so there you go. Those are my favorite new features in this latest update to Loop Cloud. I'm gonna leave a link to all of the new changes and all of the new features in the video description as usual. If you're not using Loop Cloud yet, don't sleep on it. It's an absolute game changer. <laughs> Trust me when I say it. Anyway, as usual, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.